Alrighty guys, welcome back to ARK. This is legit the third time I am doing this today, this intro, because this video keeps failing on me. But now I think I have my problem solved completely, so this one should go from now on smoothly, hopefully. But anyways, today we are going to be putting together a pen for some Ankies here. You might be wondering, how do I get some Ankies? Well, I'm starting to work down my list of dinos that I need to tame to get off of Aberration. And just like the island in Scorched Earth, I am going to do the duplicates and repeat ones, such as the Ankies, Arnies, Akatinas. I got two more up there I did. I went through them and got the A's done today. And also, I found out these guys are going to be the easiest thing for me to get ready for my, uh, was it? Not the Superior Kibble. Superior Kibble, we are going to meet, use Moss Chops. Moss Chops are just built different, you know? But we're going to be using Ankies here for the regular kibble farm. Now, I did go through and I did look for some aberrant creature that I could use. And honestly, there's no creature from Aberration that gives regular kibble as an egg. It, at least not to my knowledge. Again, um, some modded creatures could definitely drop those eggs. And I have tried doing uh, modded creatures and egg farms before, like Krylophosaurus's. I think Krylophosaurus definitely dropped regular kibble or superior. I'd have to go look into that, but I really don't have a, you know, thing I can go directly look at here in a list like I do here on the wiki of Ark. But anyways, we're going to be using Ankies. Um, I did get a good start on the farm here before my previous video crashed. Uh... So mostly I got the walls up. That's about it. I was getting ready here to start working on the ceiling. But I'm hoping that I can get, say, like, do three in the back, two in the, or three in the front, two in the back. Same thing over here. One male, of course. I'll probably have to do the male as, like, one in the middle just because there is such a big gap. So that's what we're going to do. Um, again, this is going to be a big farm. I think I kind of oversized it with Ankies. I, I just kind of like scaled them up in my head. But if we're going to... I may as well go for 10 because I made room for 10 Ankies. So that's what we're going to do. Now I might also throw up something for the Akatina. Because I do got them here. I did just get them done with their mutate... Like not mutating. I just got a pair of twins and said I'm done with them. Because legit these guys are only used for their poop. Alright like that's the only thing I need from these guys is poop. Seriously. Just poop. But we gotta get these guys going first. Because I do need 10 Ankies. And we gotta get the breeding beer here going. Now, I will continue working here, though, on the Anki pen. And I think we're gonna put up the roof. I'll show. I got a nice design for a roof here. I am not joking. It's legit just angles. Got a roof going, but it might not be working because this is the only thing holding it up. Let's see what happens. Yep, kind of what I figured would. Shoot, how am I gonna do this? Because I, I don't know how to do this. I honestly don't. I'm confused. I, genuinely. Yeah, I think I found a solution to my problem, but it doesn't look that great. Honestly. Um, like, because I'm going to have to squeeze Ankies in by pillars. Okay. I think that should do it for now. Yeah, no, that should do it. It looks decent. This should hold Ankies. <laughs> I know it's nothing compared to last episode. I, I, like, feel really underwhelmed with this one. Especially after last episode. But this one was a twofer. I got two and one. And I really, like let my mind flow this one here i'm just doing like what i would think would do for an anki farm that one i actually went and looked for inspiration this one i just did off the top of my head so i might do that for an akatina farm you know what that's what we might do we might go get some inspiration for an akatina farm also it's just like way there's like so much stuff over in here as well also i've been wanting to do this because i think it's too much not that this your brightness. What is it at? One. Okay, how about this? 
that out. No. I think it's this thing that's doing it. Huh? I yeah, ish. This light needs on though, because it's real dark over here inside if it's not. There we go. And that light does bleed through the bottom. Yep. So I think this should work. Um really should not have popped that light. Oh, got a new one down. Hold on. How do you look if I leave your brightness like that? Alright, you look overwhelmed. Yeah. Let's go down to point five. Is that possible? Update done. Gotta make sure. Oh, I gotta make sure I turn off your automatic as well. There we go. Yeah, that point five looks a lot better, especially next to that one there. Now this one though, I don't think this one's gonna get a light. It might. I'll just throw one up there. Yeah, I think with the light it looks better. I don't know. It just does with the light. These ones don't look too bad because I guess like they're right up against this one. Also, we're getting a lot of fertilizer stocked up. Especially because of these guys. I'll show you here. Thanks for that new farm. We get a lot of poop. Where am I getting black pearls from? What creature is producing black pearls? Oh, I know which one might be. I'd have to look into it more, though. So, I found a design. Um, I was just scrolling through Google Images. I didn't go to YouTube this time. I found one here. It looked like it was a round one. The guy had cages, though, on the inside where he had the Akatina stored. Now, technically, I do not have to have them moving with uh, better dinos. They can just sit in there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm, gonna do, I'm I'm keeping the round design. And I feel like I feel like it just goes good, the round design. We're going to try and do a round top as well. We might do it kind of like how we had on the Scorched Earth where the like ceiling, the middle, the hole that has a hole in it. We might do that. Or I might go all the way through with uh, triangle roofs and just make a point but i think an opening might look nice okay so i've gone around and i've put pillars on every square foundation corner or almost every i missed one apparently i'll come back and get that i think i might go one more wood pillar on top and then i've still been thinking on what we do for walls like what do we do do we do like a do we do a gap at the top like that or do we do like no we don't do a gap at the top what do we do I put you know what I could go back through and I could do like a wired look like this one like we did here on this uh, the glow light or the feather light uh, pen or I've also been thinking I can go around and we just do windows like wood windows that have been inverted like kind of like this and I actually kind of like it this way so what we'll do I forgot my pillar still I just realized that whoops let's actually go get that real quick I mean that is as round as we're gonna get I believe let's get this pant plant picked it's like really round if you look at it <laughs> like from above it's round I need a door still okay okay let's this bang there we go it's also it should be facing the right way just in case anyone's wondering now i think i'm gonna go with greenhouse there i already decided yes i'm gonna go around with greenhouse windows in this just so that way it looks nice now i just realized this as well 
I didn't do the wood wood points on top. Okay. Um This might be a dome. I don't know. Like cause it's legit just gonna be Akatina in here. And what do I do now? Cause I really want to put like wood pillars on top of this and make it a too high. I mean, I still can. I still might. I could. I might. I'm thinking on it. It's like, how would I do it though? Okay, I've done something here. I went around. I did the wood pillars. And then I've gone through and I've done done ceilings, or the windows, not ceilings, and I think it looks good? Question marks, you know? But, I mean, we're committing. It looks, looks wonky. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, it does look wonky. Okay. I got somewhat of a roof on it. I mean, it looks nice. Honestly, it does now. Like, with the roof, it looks better. Um, I'm wondering, though, about the hole in the ceiling. Alright, this is the last one. Bye, hole. It's gone. I mean, it doesn't not look. I legit just grabbed my nose while recording again. I keep on trying to scratch it, and I do that all the time while recording. But anyways, it does not look bad. Um, now I, do I want to paint it? I mean, I could give it some color. Like definitely, I could give it some color because like that one has a roof. That one, those ones have roofs. Those ones are hard to see the roofs though through the names. This one is well, like can't see it. Um. So, yeah, I gotta get blue paint, and definitely just blue paint. Alright, let's get this. That's all of them. Boom. That's one, two. Alright, get a nice paint job on. I think that one looks good. That one, legit, the reason why we're painting them a certain color, like the roofs, is just to, like, signify what kibble it's for. Since this one's for regular kibble, it got blue. Now, I honestly don't think I'm going to paint the Agatina farm. I'm probably just going to leave it the way it is, and then proceed to throw Agatina in it. But anyways, I think that might do it for this episode. I've been going for a hot minute today. I legit woke up this morning and first thing I started doing was working on some veggie cakes to go tame some Akatina. And that was, wasn't that hard. I legit just had to run and get some honey. Um, I've thought about this as well and I'm definitely going to do it. Seems how I already have pre-made bee farms on the island that already have a lot of honey for me to use. I'm just going to make two bee farms over on the island and bring them over. So I have a honey farm. Like, I mean, I'm producing all this stuff here, especially, like, flowers. I can use these rare flowers to make honey. Like, see, I got, I almost got a thousand, all right? And, like, all this stuff, it's just overkill. I don't need it all. I don't need it all. Like, all the seeds, I need this stuff. But these two, this is just overkill. From the flowers and rare mushrooms. I never will need to use that much. Also, I am sorry if you guys have been hearing a mower the entire time. I legit just uncuffed one ear and I can hear it. So I'm sorry. That's probably going to be it for this episode anyways.